Hey guys, Jason again with GHL Smart Scripts and our custom values updater. Okay, so let's recap where we're at. In the first video, we created our custom values and our custom fields. We created our form. We added that form to a landing page and then we uh, created a workflow and added the webhook to that workflow. Now we're gonna map our custom values and our custom fields. Now, before we get to that, what we need to do is we need to add a location. Uh, we need to add the locations that we want to update to our authorizer back here, down here. So add location to authorize, you'll see that button. Now I've added, already added our custom values demo uh, to the system here, but in order to add a location to the system, it's the same as all the rest of our smart scripts stuff. If you are on the 497 Agency Pro plan, you'll just see a drop down here with all of your locations um, in there. Um, otherwise, you're going to want to go and grab your location ID and your location ID API key of every location that you want to update. This is for locations that you already have in your system. I'm going to show you in a future video how to automatically add locations to this system from using a webhook right here. Okay, so we'll be able to use this after we map out our uh, our, our mapping here and create a collection. Um, in order to do that, we're just going to have to, this is usually after you're onboarding or you're, you're doing your setup. So you'll be able to take this custom value or this webhook here and use it to automatically authorize and create locations here that takes a bunch of manual work out of the steps. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new collection. So we're inside of our custom values updater here in Smart Scripts, and we're going to click, click on create new collection. In here, we are going to grab our custom values demo because this is where our custom values are from. So now there, we can have two different locations in this system right here. Both need to be added to the location authorizer. I, I just mentioned that. But in here, what we're going to need to do is we want to have one location for our custom values and one location for our custom fields. Now, the location for the custom values and custom fields mapping can be exactly the same. They can be the same location, or you can use two different custom or two different sublocations. Now, the the reason behind that is, let's say, for example, you have somebody doing an onboarding with you. They come to your system, they go through your SaaS setup, and they go to pay. Next page after they pay, you can have them fill out an onboarding form and fill out the custom values. They can fill out the form and update the custom values and have those custom values update in their new location, not in the main location that you're setting them up in. Alternatively, you can have the, the custom values form in the location that's already set up. It can be part of your snapshot. Maybe it's something that they're going to access more often. Um, and you can have that set up that way. So it's already in that location, or you can have it separated out from that location as part of your onboarding. So if you have it as part of your onboarding, you're going to want to select your account where you're grabbing the custom values from. Usually that's just for setup, you're using a master account with your snapshot. And then in here, you're going to grab your, your onboarding account where they're going to signing up and paying and doing all that kind of stuff. For the, for the purposes of this demo, we have everything all inside one account. So I'm just going to go to custom values demo and they're going to be exactly the same. So inside here, we're going to grab, we're going to give this a custom, custom values demo name. We can give this a description, uh, custom values for the demo, and then we're gonna hit get custom values. So when we hit custom values, what it's gonna do is gonna pull in all the custom values from this location. It's gonna grab all the custom fields from this location, and then we can map the two just based on their names. So right here, we got custom values one, and we want that to be with custom field one, because those are the, the variables we created, right? So custom values two, custom field two, custom values three, custom field three, custom values four, custom field four. Um, and then we also have our logo here. Uh, we can throw that in there. And we're gonna ignore these two here because these are just default ones. We've got the location license and our location ID. They were already pre-populating into our sub account. So we're gonna hit save. Now that we have, and you can see down here, we now have a collection called custom values demo. Here's our description. And we can edit that collection if we like to. For the, demo, for the purposes of this demo, because we're not automating it right now, uh, we're gonna add this collection here and we're gonna collect, select the custom values demo here. Now, the cool thing is you can, you can assign any collection to any location that you want. And I'm gonna show you how to do that automatically through your onboarding. But 
you can right now, like I can, I can add uh, add collection and I can say, okay, I want to do smart reviews. You know, I'm going to add smart reviews collection to this one here. Now, if I have a form and I have custom values and I have smart reviews set up on that account, I can use a form inside of high level to update any smart reviews custom values and you can do the same thing for your collections or your your snapshots let's say you have a snapshot that you're assigning to all your clients you can have one collection here created and then automatically assign those those locations to that collection uh, that's something more advanced and we can go over that at a later date as well but now we have basically everything set up and we're just going to want to go and update our custom values now because this is going to update that with that because we have our webhook set up we have our custom values updater collection created and we have everything mapped here so we should be able to jump over to our form over on this page and update our custom values. So let's do this. Let's go test, test two. Oh, let's go test two just so it shows something different. Test three, test four, and then we'll upload a logo of some sort here. Um, one of our clients there. Let's just do that. Okay, update custom values. So I didn't do a thank you page or a redirect page or anything like that. It's just gonna refresh this page but now if we go over to this here we go to settings custom values we'll see that everything's in your test one test two test three test four the logo and then we have our location id and our licensing key for that and that's how you set up and create your custom values and update your custom values using any form inside of high level all right if there's any questions obviously please let me know